So before we create the openings for our doors and windows, we need to turn this first into an object. So we could either make it into a component or a group. But since this is just going to be used once in our model, it's better to choose make group. Because making it into a component would uh, save that into the model and you could reuse that. So I'll choose make group. And then go to the outliner. And then name that properly. So I'll name it as walls. And then click again and then in entity info it's untag or it has no layers okay so i created already a layer there called walls so under tags you could create new layer okay and name that as walls so under tag in entity info i'll choose walls so it's organized already and let's turn on the x-ray mode for the face style so that we could see the doors and windows so select also on the floor plan on tab and let's double click inside so that you could go inside the group and let's start with the doors so let's set first the height for our door i'll use the tape measure tool to create a guideline so from the edge i'll click and then drag the cursor up and make sure it's uh, constraint to the blue axis and then type the height for the opening since the door is 2.1 meters high so we add the thickness of the door jump which is uh, 2 inches that's around 50 mm so we type an opening of 2150 enter and i could simply just use here the rectangle from that point I'll hover my mouse here without clicking to activate the inference point and then zoom out and then drag my mouse and then click let's turn off the x-ray mode then simply push our wall but since we have a wall and column connection it created here a, a connection and of course delete this unnecessary line also and we could do the same at the other side here toggle on again the extreme mode for the face style and then create the opening here You could do that similarly to the other doors but we'll not be doing it right now or let's just do an instance so we could also use again the tape measure tool here and then make sure it's constrained to the blue axis and then type the opening 2150 and then we could uh, also simply use the line tool I could also simply select the lines and then move then control to copy click on rotate constraint to the blue axis so from that point that point if 
but it doesn't have the exact width so i'll just scale that i'll just use the scale tool turn off the extreme mode and push so you could do that to the other doors also let's try doing also the windows so this is a full window so similarly let's create guidelines using the tape measure tool so from the edge drag it towards the blue axis and let's put a window seal of 400 mm and then another guideline for the window header so 2150 so for better creation of lines i turn off x-ray so rectangle again then push that window and again it doesn't open because it has adjacent walls okay so just select that or i mean columns so delete and then delete immediately unnecessary lines so let's create the other windows And since we already have corners here, we could just simply use also the lines. And again, we could simply just uh, copy them. So M and then control. So we can again push our, our window openings. This time I'm just double clicking because the software already have saved our extrusion distance a while ago. So it automatically saves the last extrusion depth initially you have created. And then again clean the extra geometries. We could uh, turn off all our guidelines or we could simply delete the guidelines or undo and then turn off the guidelines but for me I don't need it anymore I'll just delete them and then save your 